Hey G-Squad, welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? So for today's episode, we have this cool, amazing product here in my hand. If you can see, it's by a brand called Bella. But basically what this is, is a waffle maker that you can use at home, office, or wherever you guys want to have waffle. You guys can put this wherever you guys want to. Um, first thing first, I'm actually open up and show you guys what the product looks like first before we test it out and everything else. So when you guys first open the package itself, this is basically what it looks like. So there's the actual waffle maker right there. So let me take that out first. So first thing we get here is the actual tray itself and also an instruction guide. So for this tray, basically what you guys want to do with this tray is put it underneath so any of the waffle like mixes or whatever flowers fall into here, then it's easy to clean because it's also non-stick. So here is basically what the product looks like, if you can see. Very small and compact and portable. You guys can see that it's foldable for the handle itself. You guys can flip it around if you guys want to, so that way it's easier to cook the waffle and whatnot. They do have a wire right here, which is the wall outlet where you can plug it onto the wall to uh, power it up and everything else. And then on the top part, you can see that there's the uh, logo right here, Bella. There's the temperature setting right here, so I can change it for light or dark, depending on how you guys like your waffle, if you guys like it dark or uh, light, so it's more burnt or less burnt. And then right here, it has the indicator light for the power and the ready, so that's how you guys know when the product is on and when it's done. So basically how it works is that you guys want to open up right here, and then just pour in the mix inside, however much you want. If you guys want a full waffle or a mini waffle or whatever. And then once you guys are done, just close it back in place like this. And then turn the knob. It only goes one direction. And just have it cooking like that. And on the other side right here, you can see that there's another ready uh, option right here. So once it's done, that means you guys can actually flip it to the other side like this. And you guys can open it back up like this. And then you can start eating it and whatnot. And then the bottom part, obviously, right here, you can put the tray that they provide you right here. So that's basically everything that's on the product itself. The only way for us to actually find out whether it actually works and how well it works is to actually go try it out. So let me actually go do a quick test first and then come back and talk more about the product itself. All right, so basically what we have here is the waffle mix and everything. So I'm using this kick mix or waffle mix to make the waffle itself. So let me add all the ingredients together first and then show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. All right, so if you can see right here, we have all the ingredients all add in already. So I have the flour, the waffle mix, the oil, the egg. And if you guys don't know, the ingredients is also provided on the actual package itself right here, if you guys can see. So you just have to follow the ingredients there or you guys can follow the instruction as well online. So all you guys have to do is put those ingredients in here and mix it together. So basically what I'm gonna do now is mix the ingredients together and show you guys what it looks like when it's done. So basically, if you can see right here, I have all the ingredients all set already and the waffle mix as well right here. So basically what you guys want to do right now is add it onto the actual waffle maker itself. But I also added some lemon extract, if you guys can see right here, because I want to get that lemon flavor for the waffle uh, itself. So let's open up first. And then what you guys want to do is put on the actual waffle mix right here on top. And you guys can put however much you guys want to. So if you guys want to have the whole entire waffle, then you just put more in it. If you guys just want the mini waffle, just add less to it. So I'm just gonna add a little bit first. And then you guys can see that's not enough. So we're gonna have to add a little bit more and just gradually add more and more until you guys think it's enough for you. So it's still not enough. We're gonna add a little bit more. Cause I want to get that shape of the actual waffle itself where you guys can get the full waffle shape, not like any parts where it's missing. Just make sure each part of the waffle itself is covered correctly. And then once you guys have the correct size or correct uh, amount, then you guys want to close the lid. And then once you guys close the lid, you want to set the temperature to what you guys want it to be. So if you guys want it to be uh, more dark or more light, then you can change it based on your preference. So I'm going to turn it a little bit halfway where it's like a little bit dark with a little bit of light. And then we're going to turn it over so then we can wait for the little button to pop green on the ready button. So then that way we guys can turn it over and uh, have it ready to eat. 
but one thing that I want to tell you guys is that you guys want to keep it in there for a while before taking it out or otherwise you won't get like that hard texture on the waffle itself. So what's really cool about this is the fact that once you guys turn it over, this part right here, when you guys try to lift it up, it won't move. So that's a really good like safety hazard that they built on. So it's safe for you to use, your family to use, and for also your kids to use. All right, so once you guys finish everything, like put it in mix and everything, you guys can see that there's a green light right here to let you guys know when it's done. So you guys can turn it around like this, and then you guys open it up. And you can see that it's all done. You guys can see that it actually looks really good and perfect and everything. And the way how you guys make it perfectly like this is the fact that you guys need to add the right amount of uh, waffle mix onto it. If you guys add too much, it's going to spill out. If you guys add too little, then it won't make this perfect shape like this. All right, welcome back guys. So now that you guys saw the test of the product, you can see that actually does work and actually works really well. I definitely love the option of how you guys can turn the waffle maker itself so that way it can make the waffle correctly and spread equally. So in terms of the question of cleaning the product though, is it easy to clean? So obviously the tray itself is easy to clean. You guys can just rinse it in the sink and use some soap if you guys want to. But also one thing like I mentioned earlier is the fact that the tray and also the device itself right here, uh, the waffle maker is uh, non-stick. So it'll be really easy to clean. If you guys really want to, you guys can probably even like pour some liquid on here and then pour it out afterward. So that way you can drop on the tray itself to clean it. So you guys have a lot of different options, but just make sure if you guys do that to unplug the cable first before pouring water in here to kind of wash it and whatnot. So now that we did the unboxing and testing of the product itself, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for me, honestly, I have to say that this is actually really, really worth it if you guys need one or want one of these. <laughs> This is especially worth it for those guys who want to like um, bake stuff or make waffle at home and you guys are bored. But then obviously for those guys who don't want one or don't need one or have no use for one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you actually do need. But other than that, that's much different for this little unboxing, testing, and feedback about this product. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me subscribe like and comment down below and if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more then make sure to click on that bell notification in the bottom to be notified of new videos that will be coming up in the future but as always make sure to stay positive be you and i'll see you guys in the next episode of is it worth it peace and then for today g squad fan shout out day we have <laughs>